So if you've seen all the videos made on this movie, then you probably think that Joker 2 is god awful. And maybe this is one of my more hot takes of the year, but I don't think that Joker 2 is that bad. Now don't get it twisted, under no circumstances by any means stretch of the imagination am I going to defend this movie. I would even go as far as to argue that this is a bad film. But you got people arguing that this is the worst movie of 2024. And with movies like Madam Web that came out this year, personally, I don't even think it's close. So needless to say, I do think there are some good aspects of this film. It's just covered in so much dog shit. To start off, I think the biggest thing that's holding this movie back is the fact that it is a musical. Now before I continue, I will acknowledge that I'm not the biggest fan of musicals, so I am a little biased. But with that being said, God, I have no idea what they were even thinking making the Joker a musical. Like whoever came up with that on the board needs to get his ass out. Fire him immediately. He did not cook. It's just so baffling going down this route for this type of sequel. It just makes no goddamn sense at all. Now, if I were to be generous, very generous, I do think there are a few scenes that a musical can work in. For example, and this is a very light spoiler, when Arthur was at his court case, he started to have an emotional meltdown, but he still had to maintain his calm appearance as he was obviously not allowed to have any outburst in the courtroom. This is when we got a musical piece of what was happening in Arthur's fantasy, and this makes sense. It's a good way to show his mental breakdown in this moment. But things like this are few and far between, as the majority of the musicals in Joker 2 have absolutely no tie to what's going on in the scene, and aren't clever enough to tie it back to the development of the characters. So we're just left with something that feels like a filler, that has no subsidence whatsoever to what's happening in the story. But that's not even the worst part of the musicals, in my opinion. The real pain in the ass is when it hinders the scene itself. I think the best example of this was towards the end of the movie when Arthur and Harley meet for the last time, and it really highlights how unhealthy and unbalanced the relationship truly was. And honestly, I think this could have been a really powerful scene if it strictly just stuck to dialogue exchanges and their body language. But they didn't. Just take a guess what happened. Harley started singing again, and oh my god, even Arthur was like, shut up, shut the fuck up for one second. And that's exactly how I felt in my seat in the theater. I, I just couldn't believe it. Actually, when they don't do the whole musical bit as a substitute for the dialogue exchange, the movie isn't half bad. There were even a few scenes that were really enjoyable. My favorite was when the Joker questioned Gary at his own court trial, and he expressed how Arthur was a good person who never made fun of him or belittled him, and that the Joker is completely different from him, that he's genuinely terrifying. It's a really powerful scene. It's literally one of the only moments that feels like a continuation from the original. But like I said before, the very few good things in this film are too few and far, far between each other. And it just sucks because these very few good things, like for example, the performance of all the actors and actresses, are completely overshadowed by the lack of direction and writing of these characters. In fact, the whole movie just didn't feel like it had a clear direction. Not to mention you throw something that doesn't seem like it fits like a musical into here, and of course you're gonna get a fucking mess. Which leads me to, in my opinion, the biggest reason why this movie failed outside of the lack of marketing and the musical aspect to it. And that is, the movie just didn't feel like it had a reason to exist. The original Joker was supposed to be a one-off. They never intended to make a sequel after it. And this really shows with this sequel. It, it honestly feels like a cash grab. The first one had a clear message that they wanted to deliver in a concise story. The second one feels bloated 
and drags on with absolutely no purpose to it. And nothing highlights the lack of purpose more than the film's ending, which I won't go into detail because of the heavy spoilers, but it's bad. It's really bad. Actually, scratch that. Bad doesn't even describe it well. It's fucking terrible. It's my least favorite moment in the entire movie. And honestly, throughout this entire video, I think I've been very generous towards the Joker as I've played devil's advocate towards the people who think this movie is beyond trash. But for the ending, you won't hear a peep out of me. It is embarrassingly bad. So all in all, do I recommend this? No, no, not really. But I will say I didn't regret watching it. I think there was just enough under all that shit that made me not regret it completely. But yeah, that's it. That's my complete review. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Comment below how you felt about the movie and what I should do next. I could do anime, shows, movies, games, whatever. But again, thank you so much for watching.